dude. This is Jimmy with Two the Top Crane. I know it's noisy. We got a couple of boom trucks running. Um, show you guys what we got going on. So uh, that's our 100 ton, the ATF 80-4 developed the hydraulic leak in the back of the telescope cylinder the only way to get to it is to take the boom out of it so we're going to yank the pack out that's the we're yank the pack it's the telescope section of the pack all five sections are going to come out the end of the boom at one time we're going to set it off on the ground and then uh, pull the telescope cylinder out and uh, put new uh, o-rings and seals on everything we're not actually going to disassemble the cylinder. Uh, Tadano sends those out to Illinois somewhere to do that. Um, the, the cylinder itself's not leaking. It's got a plug with a uh, O-ring on it that's leaking. So uh, anyway, I had a question the other day from uh, I think it's uh, MS Earthworks. Wanted to know what makes our 50 ton a boom truck and not a crane. So I'll uh, show you real quick. As we get under here and look, you can see that right here is the crane frame and right here is the truck frame. So the crane can actually be completely removed from uh, the truck chassis and put on a different, different chassis. On a crane, the frame is, uh, or the carrier, it's purpose built for only the purpose of carrying the crane. Where this is just a conventional truck that has had a crane stacked on its back. So, like if we look at our 100 ton. I mean, this is obviously a purpose built chassis for carrying that, that upper portion, the crane portion. So uh, we got a Tadano mechanic here helping us uh, get this boom apart. I've never done one of them and I'm not going to get in over my head and uh, tear something up. So yeah, that's what we got going on. Two 50 ton boom trucks, um, got the wear pads and stuff out of the base section on the 100 ton. We're gonna throw a strap around the back side, hook some straps to the front side on the jib ears, and uh, slide the pack out, and then we will uh, pull a telescope cylinder out. So anyway, I'm gonna throw this camera up in uh, one of these 50 ton cranes I'm gonna be running, and uh, we'll see if we get some video of it coming out. I'm not gonna set this up as a time lapse. This, this might take us all day, and uh, that would be pretty extensive editing, I guess. I don't know, I haven't messed with time lapse much, so I guess I need to play with it. But I'm, I'm gonna put the camera away for now. Once we get ready to pull it out, I'll turn, uh, turn the camera back on. YouTube 
It's Friday. Here's the inside of the old boom on the hundred ton. These are boom locking pins that uh, come out the side. Um, this is the locking assemblies. One of them was a little damaged, so we had to replace it. But, uh, I'm gonna jump up on the deck of the crane show you guys what we got going on up there. Okay, so this telescope cylinder has been quite the ordeal. in there actually you can see clear up into the boom but this this uh, cylinder doesn't come out as easy as what we thought you got to boom the base section of the boom up to about 50 degrees to get access to the pins that hold the telescope cylinder in place okay access these holes in the side of the superstructure so yeah it has been quite the challenge getting this thing apart but we're almost to the point where we can fix our one or two dollar o-ring that's leaking after uh, spending a 10 hour day working on it yesterday and hopefully we get this thing done today i don't know i'd like to be putting this thing away by 3 30 heading home enjoying my weekend so we'll see what happens but uh i'm gonna shut the camera off and get started on this thing i'm not gonna make any video while i'm while i'm messing with it we're just we're trying to get it done it's a it's gonna be a battle to the bitter end and i'm not gonna have time to be sitting here recording so um, I'm not going to worry about my camera today. just wanted to show you guys what we had going on.